Uh, welcome back, guys. This is going to be a very short tutorial. Um, in, in, it's going to be a very short tutorial because, you know, before um, writing our new feature, what I would like to do, um, what I have decided to do is I have decided to talk about Go, the, the JavaScript automation, uh, you know, automation tool from, you know, basically it's a very, very useful tool to automate a lot of things that we need as a developers when we're writing code in the development machine, right? The the reason, okay, the, so whenever I'm teaching something, that this must be a reason, like, you know, um, why we need a goal to that. that for, I will show you the reason why we need it, okay? Let me go ahead and start, let me show you, start my project here, and uh, by the way, in the following video tutorial after this one, we will be building this feature. We'll be building this feature um, from the scratch. I will show you, you know, all the state that is needed. So basically, some of the functionality that this is the view portion, admin view portion of the product. This will be building from the scratch. However, today we, I'm not going to talk about how to build this one. I'm not going to write any code kind of related to this one yet. But before that, I wanted to briefly touch about the thing that we need. Uh, that definitely helps us, you know. Uh, so, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, Gulp. And I have a plugin for Gulp called um, Gulp Nodeman. That's what I'm going to talk about. Okay, the reason, okay, let me explain to you why we need this one. Let's say this is my uh, server side code here, product config. And for some reason, let's say um, I don't like the title of my. Uh, view product title. When I say a title, I'm referring to this particular piece right here. This is, I just want to have it to be view product instead of testing with gold. So, you know, I found that bug. I don't know, maybe QA found bug in your application. You just go in here and you change it. View product. And you save your file here. And basically you refresh. Even though you change that and uh, you refresh your page, Nothing is happening here. It's nothing is happening here because uh, your server hasn't restarted, right? You have to to reflect that changes. The server has to restart. But there is no any tool that process that constantly monitoring our uh, server and restarting it when in we are building up, when we are writing code in our development machine. So to do that, we need a tool we are task runner called a, a goal. There are a bunch of them, there are a lot of them, but uh, Gulp is, um, there is a Gulp, and of course there is the Grunt. Gulp is more like you, you use a code-based convention, the other one, the Grunt, is like a lot of configuration. So both are really awesome too, you know, you decide which one you're going you're gonna to choose. But I even, so I'm going to briefly, let's say now we have decided we need some kind of tool to, you know, constantly monitor our server to make sure any changes would be reflected. So, um, so what we're gonna do? Very first thing, of course, we have to go. We have to do is we're gonna go into our under console. We're gonna open command prompt here, and we're gonna install using npm. npm using the install command of npm, and we're gonna download the gulp here. You can download with the G command global option so that it would, it would be available. The only gulp command would be available, and then you also want to download as a save command. That way, it would be saved into your local copy also. You can, which I have already done, so I'm not gonna do it yet. So, um, and of course, there is a lot of command related to gulp. And if you want to know more about gulp and all the all the features and all kind. Using Gulp, you can you can do so many awesome things. Like you you can do a minification of your JavaScript file. Uh, like you have multiple files, you know maybe you know, when it goes to production, you want to put it together so that it will have a um, faster. It will be it just you just have sending one HTTP request versus a bunch of HTTP requests to download the JavaScript file. Anyway, there are so many reasons to use Gulp, but here it's one simple. Okay. Once you download the gulp, so what happens in your project is there is a file called um, called package.json. In of course, you know, in this video tutorial, I have already done. That's why you will see you will see all the dependency of your project in here in this dependency um, JSON object. 
and here is a go and the latest version, the current version that is currently running. Okay, that's the first thing we have to do. Once we have downloaded Gulp, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to we're going to also download a plugin to Gulp called Gulp Das Nodeman. Okay. If you want to know more about that, it is in this here, and all the documentation. You can read it. How to you know use this uh, plugin into your project. This is the URL to go into. So um. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. So um, I'm going to close that one for now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the head, you know, the my proxy, and open the command prompt. And this time I'm going to do uh, npm command again. Install gold dash nodeman with save option that way it would be saved into your project since in my case I have already saved that one which you can see in all the npm dependency right here called nodeman with the current version and you can see that also here gulp nodeman okay those are the two step once okay now next once you have done that the next thing you want to do Next thing you want to do is, of course, now um, go into your uh, main project and add a file, a JavaScript file called gulpfile.js. I have already done that one. You will see in my project there is a file called gulpfile.js. Okay. Okay. Once you add the file, then of course you know we are writing a Node code. No JS code, so of course we have to very first thing in line number one, you need to have a reference to Gulp. We're gonna do require goal. And of course we also need a nodeman. So we have reference to nodeman. And like I said, you know, this I'm not gonna use uglify in this video tutorial, so this is just to uglify my code, but I haven't written any code related to this one. But if you need it, there is another plugin, Gulp plugin you can use to uglify your code. Alright. If you are not familiar with the Gulp, Gulp is a, it has a very nice API. There are not many methods that API exposes like four or five methods, and one of the method is a task. Okay, so what do we, the task, the way we're gonna invoke the task is that we're gonna give a name. In this case, I named it as default and a callback function here, and the callback inside the callback function, this is another process nodeman. We invoke the nodeman second plugin that we downloaded and we're going to specify some parameter here we are saying this is the script file that you I want you to monitor and any any file that has extension JS and you can specify the environment in obviously called port so basically we are saying this server would be monitoring on port 9000 it would be running on port 9000 and and of course this it would be run after that I'm going to call on method it's one of the event restart so basically this on restart I want to run the server that is the command okay once that is all defined now what I can do if you have you know done all the steps correctly that I showed you now what you can do is you okay you know usually let me put this code right here so that people can see it you know um, this uh, otherwise you know there's a lot of example in their um, you know their website also you can play with it and once that is done I can now I can say a uh, gulp and then Mike you can just see a gulp also if you find by default I think that is scan that name and basically that code right here gets executed but other thing then or you can also give a name it's basically saying which task to run. So I'm as I'm saying, okay, hey go go ahead and run the task called default, which is defined right here. Okay, I hit enter. See, it is a restarting our server. Okay, so at this point, what we can do is we can open our browser into in port 9000. So right now this is drawing from the Visual Studio plugin, right? So I'm gonna I'm going to close this one and open new instance of the browser. 
and go into uh, localhost and port number 9000 and if I go into view, pro uh, view project here I'm going to like this now now just to demo that the you know like when we change something in the server side it automatically automatically that change it would be reflected let, let me show you um, let's go into the same um, the configuration file and change the title of the product so add something else testing how uh, gulp plugin helps us helps us or whatever and then if I as soon as I save it here and if you go into browser and save this and if I refresh this one look at that it automatically changed it reflected that changes right away we don't have to restart our browser so I, I, let's go ahead and put this of course it, this should be view product I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one and I'm going to save this file it's already should have run see it's run again and then if I refresh this page the, our, our title is as it is now okay that is all I wanted to you guys to be aware of I have found this um, the gold plugin very very useful like you know like when you're writing a lot in code in the development machine uh, you always want to see you know the changes right away you don't have to uh, restart the server and, and then see again it, it's very time-consuming so this kind of automated tasks really help us okay anyway guys I hope this little not the code explanation but I was just basically description and some demo have help you you know to write better code and learn learn this and get some kind of eagerness to learn about gulp or grunt or whatever thank you so much for watching my videos I will be continuing you know you know as I said we'll be uh, write this we will show you how to write this feature in my next video tutorial have a good day